Yeah, but. If there's something going on the wrong way, I apologize to you, Gentry. But. But, Will, my, 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 my thing is. Hold on, baby, I'm coming with you. But my, my thing, my, my, my thing is this, Will. I don't have a problem with you and with your interpret with your interpretation. My problem is that every time you've came there, it's never been an issue. We just got a shotgun in there. You know what I'm saying? So, like you saying about the other stores or whatever, I can't speak for those people at those stores. But like I sent you in a text message, every convenience store you go in, if you see the gun or if you don't see the gun. It's there, especially with Arabians. I do business with Arabian guys, and they got more. They have more guns than I have. I have that one shotgun, and that's strictly there for people to only see it as a precautionary method. That's it. You've never seen that. No other time you came to my store but the last time. So when that guy, that's what I'm trying to tell you. When that guy who came there and he said that, I'm like, why, why would he say something like that? He's like, he just told me, man, be careful when I come over here because... He saw a gun and you told him to go in the cooler real fast and about the late because because somebody else was coming in. I'm like, how can he interpret that as for saying be careful? For me, that's bad business. It's bad for business because I've never had a problem with that guy and I never had a problem with you. For me, I felt like it was more of a what's the right word to, to, to use? It was more of a what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm trying to think of a, what's a good word to say. Hold on one second. Babe, what's the word when you when somebody stop trying to size you up and they're wrong? It, what's the word? I don't know what the word is on the tip of my tongue. But it's that. It's like you size us up and you 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 was all wrong and then you told this guy that. So now he's thinking a certain thing. And and and, and it was completely opposite, not that. That lady works for the liquor company. She was coming in because I told her coming on Friday, because I what whatever day that was, she was there. I needed to talk to her because this was her second or third time sending a bad liquor order. And I had to address that problem. I don't want to have to address that problem and in turn with somebody like you who I'm doing good business with and have to address another problem. That's why I'm trying to apologize that I misinterpreted. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, yeah I man. I interpreted wrong and I was a liquor lady. I'm apologizing to you for doing that. I'm sorry that I misinterpreted it. Yeah, but it, but, but it, just, it just states a lot about where, where society is, man. That's why I took it more personal. I've been to college for five years and got a business degree, graduated cum laude. To have a guy come in my store that I pay my money for, that I pay my money for beer for, and try and size me up and say that it's this because he saw a gun and I asked him to go in the cooler and finish his job. You came there to do a job, Will. I, I just happened to talk to you about trying to make a bigger order, but you had already was coming there to go do what you normally do. Hey, hello, how you guys doing? Hello, and go to the cooler, get your order, come back out, say what the order is, sayonara. You know, but by me talking to you and extending our conversation, trying to do more business, you saw you saw somebody else coming. I had everybody time for when they come in. I knew what time you was coming. I knew what time I told her to come. So basically, you, I mean, I just took it real personal, man. I took it man, more past business, man, because first off, I'm a black businessman. That's the first thing. You're a Caucasian guy. For you to tell another guy, I'm just put it out there straight like how I felt. I'm a black businessman, you a Caucasian guy, for you to tell another guy who's also Caucasian, watch yourself when you go in that store, put in lamest terms, we don't know what's going on over there, it could be drugs or it could be something, because that's what he said, He maybe he thought you guys sold drugs or something like that, man, and it's not that at all, and for somebody to come in my store, no, no, I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. That's off your assessment of what you said. Like you said what you said about your assessment. When you saw the lady come in and I asked you to go in the cooler, you told him, watch yourself. So, based off him, you telling... I will, I will wholeheartedly admit that that is what I thought. Whenever she came in like that and you asked me to go in the back, I, I, that was the, the situation that I assumed was that there was a deal going on and you didn't want me there for it. Which, like I said, if I assumed wrong, I apologize. It has nothing to do with you being black. That's not the situation. But you, but you figure, but you figured it was drugs. How could you? That's what I'm trying to say. How could you figure it's drugs when you, when you've never came to my store? It smelled like marijuana. You never saw drugs. All you saw was a gun. That's what I'm saying. That's what I, that's what I'm saying. Will I'm getting past the part of of you doing it. I'm saying that how can somebody? If I saw you on the street and I saw your wife with a black eye, that was who am I to assume that you punched her in the eye? You understand what I'm saying? 
That's where I'm taking it to. How can I assume this guy Will is out with his wife and he's out with his kids and his wife got a black eye? Man, that guy's beating his wife. That's an assumption. I can't make that type of assumption because I don't know you past you coming to my store and taking my order. I don't know what your life like outside of Budweiser. I don't know what you do. You could be a coke head, meth head. Or, I don't know. I don't know that. So I can't assume that and say, oh, this guy. Nah, I'm not taking it as far as I'm thinking you're a racist guy or something like that. No, I don't think that. But I think that you over-assess something based on what you assumed. And what you assumed was like dead wrong. And on top of that assumption, like I've never given you reason to even assume that. Uh, other than when she came in, I asked you to go ahead on and finish what you came to do. I was only asking you to go ahead on and do your job. But you took it as I'm making, I'm running you off so I can take care of some other business that's drugs, like you just said. And that's incorrect, man. That's that's totally incorrect, man. And that's why I apologize. I, I understand where you're coming from that I, made, that, I, that I shouldn't have done that. And that's why I'm apologizing to you. I don't know anything else I can tell you other than I made a wrong judgment call. And I saw something that wasn't going on. Like I, I, I apologize. I don't know what else, what else to do or tell you, Gentry. I mean, it's, it's, it's. You know, I, I, I take it. I'm taking it personal because I've worked hard throughout my life to right. a, acquire certain things. I play professional basketball. I told you and your boss that last time. My wife does the same, and we've both worked hard throughout our lives to remove the stigma of certain things. You know, regardless of how they seem. You know, regardless of how they seem, to have a guy come in, such as you, come in and size up a situation. And then not only did you size it up, I would have preferred you, like you said, you thought it was drugs. I would have preferred you came in at the end of the day. You left, She left before you did, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Or if not, if she didn't, pull me to the side, hey, Mr. Lewis, I don't know what's going on over here, but... If it's drugs or something like that, we're not going to be able to service you. Versus going back and tell another guy that. And then that guy tell another guy that. Then that then it's a whole thing that started. And then to get back to another company. You understand what I'm saying? It's more bigger than your words were so damaging. That when my brother told me, I was in complete, I was in complete shock. Because I had him on speakerphone when he was telling me, sitting with a guy who works for the mayor. Who I do, who another guy who I'm trying to do some business with for the kids in the community. So when he hear that, all of a sudden now he's like, wait, 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 wait a minute. You understand what I'm saying? Your words were so that that's 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 just how assumptions can get taken. It, it's not about what you said. Had you said that to me, and I would have been able to address that and clear that up, that would have been different. But had you but but for you to go tell that to another guy who worked with you, and then that guy could potentially tell it to another guy. It, it stretches miles, man. Just off one assumption that stretches miles. Stretches miles. And then, like I said, I had my brother on three-way on a call, and I got him on speakerphone. He like, yeah, the guy just came in, and he delivered the beer. And he said, yeah, the guy Will told him, watch it over there because I think they got drugs or something going on over there because the guy had a shotgun, and he, and he sent me in a cooler real fast. You came there to do a job. You didn't come there to talk to me, Will. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I mean... I, I don't know really how to assess that, man. And you know, I really don't know, man. I really don't. You know, I I really don't. I can't. I can't. Even, I can't even say. It. Cause all I can say is this: I got friends who do business all the time. And if this was a situation like this with them, you know, I, I asked them about it. how would you have handled this situation. You know, they would. I don't want you. I'm not trying to take it as far as you losing your job or something like that. But something like this, you got to be mindful in the future that. It's a possibility that somebody cannot be as heartful as I am and not take it above and behind. They can try and go to your superior or something like this. Man, this is something that could potentially make you lose your job, Will. Just over one comment. You know how this business is, man. One thing is damaging. One thing can damage everything. And that particular statement right there, and for that guy to come in after you left a day or two later and say that to my brother, and, he, and, 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 and you've never saw drugs? All you saw was a shotgun? That's a, that's a huge stigma. It's a huge stigma, Will. It's a huge, huge stigma. And and like I said, I'm not there in the United States right now. My brother's handling all the business. But I, I, I got I to gotta be honest with you. I'm still very upset about it because, like I said, I had my other guy who I do business with. And I had him on speaker. I had my brother on speakerphone when he was telling me about when the guy came. And now this guy... I don't know if there, I haven't heard back from him in, in, in about a week now. I don't know if there's a bit of reluctance or what. But he was another Caucasian guy. So he may think that, you know, based on what my brother was telling me, hey, man, I need to back up. I don't mean, I maybe not need to do this business with you like I, so, so something like that comment right there could potentially cost me thousands of dollars. 
for something just off your assumption. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not about your apology. I, I, I appreciate your apology and I respect your apology. Do I accept your apology at this point right now? I got to see how what the future holds. I got to be completely honest about that. Because I've never given you no reason to think that ever other than me asking you to go in the cooler so i can tend to another uh contract that i have that was the only reason and for you to gather that knowledge had i i gotta think about it like this if i was a caucasian guy or if i was an arab guy or if i was an indian guy would you have still made that same assessment that's how i gotta think regardless of what you say that's how i gotta assess it that's how i gotta assess it there's it, no other way to assess that off those comments that you made. And then for another guy to come in and say that. That's huge, man. I I, I wanted to call you and because I know my brother told me you came in and you apologized. And he told me you, you know, you felt bad about it or whatever. But it's a different about feeling and, and 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 about monetary. Your heart can be in one place, but your pockets can be in another. And that potential comment could could possibly cost me and my family thousands of dollars, man. Really. Honestly, truthfully speaking. Just based off that comment and your assumption. I, didn't need, I got your supervisor number in my phone. I didn't call him. I wanted to call him hear your reasoning behind it. Do I, do, do I understand your reasoning behind it? No. I mean, because I understand it to the point to where is, you know, what you saw about the gun and the lady coming in. But that lady could have been my wife and I didn't want to argue in front of you. It could have been a million and one things other than drugs. Why did it have to be drugs? That's all I'm, I'm curious about. I don't know. And you said other stores in the area. That Arabian guy, he's cross-eyed. There's no way he could be dealing drugs. The two Indian guys call the police every other day. There's no way they could be dealing in drugs. So you can't say it's the area. Yeah, the area is known for drugs, but he's got this African-American guy over here now in this area. It's known for a drug tra a traffic area. And now this guy's over here. He must be in on it. That's your assessment. That was what you thought. You, and then you threw in the mix the other two companies, the other store down the street and the other guy down the street because you didn't want me to make me feel bad. I feel terrible regardless of what you say about it regardless. That's just me. Because I know that that's not what's going on and that that wasn't what's going on, was, wasn't what's going on that day. But had you, and like I said, I won't hold you because my wife waiting for me. But had you addressed that to me that day, I would have cleared up any assumption you had. Versus going back and telling those guys that. And those guys going back. They could have told their girlfriend that. That could have been potential customers. Everybody who come in, I look at them as potential customers. I handle them in a certain kind of way. Both of my brothers handle them in a certain kind of way. Every time you came in my store, first thing I've asked you. How you feeling, man? Are you thirsty? You want something to drink? Every customer I have, every contract I have, I handle them in that profession. In that professional manner. My wife makes sure I handle them in that professional manner. I've never cursed with them. I've never handled them in any kind of other way. And for you to make that assessment, it baffles me. Honestly, it baffles me. Based on what you saw. You didn't see any drugs. All you saw was a gun and a lady coming the door who could potentially have been my wife. Think about that. That's, that's what things you got to think about when you're dealing in this kind of business. I understand your position. I understand all of that. But for you to go back and tell another guy that, you could have... To, to, to basically like you you updating him or giving him the heads up yeah yeah that, that that's huge man that's huge i don't know how you can give a guy a heads up on nothing you know I, I don't know that's just me man like i said you saying it's not because i'm black but i can't see no other reason they got an indian guy up the block it's another indian they got an arabian guy up the other block i mean He's never said if, he, like I said, had he said that the first day he came to my store, man, you know this this area, or, you know my my this guy said this about that, that'd have been something totally different. But we've been open for two months now, and that guy's came to the store every week for the last two months, and all he's been is nothing but cool and held conversation. That's it. He's never mentioned nothing like that. I've had other guys come in. I've had other guys come in. Other contracts come in. Bigger companies. I know Budweiser is a bigger is a big company. I'm talking about contracts. I paid Budweiser. I'm talking about contracts that come in. That's cash. Con that, that's contracts that give the product up front. Thousands of dollars. My cigarette company. International. Indian guy. He come in. He see the shotgun. It could be the same scenario and he won't assess that. He won't, he won't make that type of assessment. He came in. Two days before I left, Hemo from International came in. He saw the shotgun. It's good that you have this, Habibi, because sometimes there's some problems. That's all he said. He came in and asked me if I wanted to get open up a $3,000 credit line with him. 
I paid Budweiser cash. For me to pay Budweiser cash and for you to say what you said, that don't make sense. I'm paying you to, I'm paying you basically to, and you get commission off every sale. I'm paying you basically to kill my business. If you look at it. That was the reason why I wanted to take a week or so before I got back with you because when it first happened, I was really upset. And, I'm, and, and that's why I sent you the message because I wanted you to understand that you can't go around just saying stuff like that. You can't. And, and, and you, you, you can't. It, does, it doesn't matter who it is, white, black, Chinese, whatever. I don't size no man up versus on what I see. You're going to say what you can see. And you saw nothing, but you said everything. That could potentially be could potentially cost me money. We'll see in the future what happens. I don't know. The guy hasn't called me back in weeks about the deal we were supposed to do about opening up another store. So we don't. I don't know what the, what's going to happen with that with that situation at all. But I know what's happening with this situation. That I'm hoping moving forward that we can still do business. Like I said, I'm not there, so you basically be dealing with my brother. I, you know. I, I don't. I really don't know. Have much more of a comment other than that. Like I said, I don't want to talk your head off. My wife waiting for me, but I, I had to express that to you, man, because I, I don't understand. I still, to this day, I still can't understand. Like, why would you say that? And then you would even when I call you, like, because of the other stores, man. Those people, for sure, you know, and I know, there's no drugs going on over there at those other two stores. You based it off my store, period. Period. Well, period. Is there anything else you want to say, Will? Nope, I said everything I can say, Jimmy. If you feel like you need to talk to my supervisor, please call him. I've already told him about the situation. He's seen the text message you sent me, so if you need to talk to him, please call him and talk to him. Um, you know? Nah, because I, I don't want to... Other than what I was talking, so. If, if, if... Uh, put it like this here. If you feel like you can't do business with me... You can call him and express that with him also. No, nah, because... Something can be figured out where you get your beer. So, let, let, that's be, all I can tell you, man. Like, and you're right. We, we, we can sit here and go back and forth. I, I understand your position. I understand that what I said could harm you. That made an assumption that was incorrect and the, the ramifications of it. So, yeah. But yeah, there really is nothing else I can say. Right, and, 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 and I'm going to let you go. But before I go, for your boss to see my text message that I sent you, and for him not to try to call me or reach out to me, it says a lot about him as well. And I'm going to be honest with you about that. Because if you told him everything that you're telling me right now and he didn't call me or he didn't try and get in contact with me, he didn't see it as a big deal. So that says a lot about him as well. I got your text message on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I let him know Monday morning. The first thing he did on Monday was come with me and ride to your store. Okay, okay, okay. That's the first thing we did Monday morning and nobody was open. So then your brother called me later. <laughs> I told him what was up. I apologized. 